Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome to my channel, Ethernet Chart. I need you guys to first slam the notification bell, subscribe for your boy. If you have any major joint pain, I'm gonna show you guys how to take care of that through some really kind of interesting ways, kind of some fringe techniques we might say. Now I'm just playing guys. I'm coming at this all with science. I'm coming at this all with as much science as I can. My own anecdotal experience. If you follow this channel, you know that I fell off a scooter a couple times. I'm working through a major hip tilt shift i'm strengthening the quadratus lumborum right i'm doing everything we can to get the body aligned so i can squat a heavy again so i can do snatch heavy and get back to this uh strength and uh meanwhile i'll be sharing some of the silly stuff that i'm trying yesterday if you checked out my video i talked a little about nasal breathing how, <laughs> how there's a literally uh scientific evidence talking about uh, asymmetries in the nasal cycle, for instance, left over right nostril dominance can contribute um, to, can be linked to various diseases, right? Isn't that crazy? An asymmetry in brain function, at least. That's so crazy to me. So I'm really looking to understand some of these more kind of mm, metaphysical aspects of our fitness journeys, our success, um, and regards to the way we perform in life, business, health, fitness, whatever that may be. If it doesn't matter if you're trying to lose weight, it doesn't matter if you're coming back from an injury, maybe you're an ex-athlete and you wanna get back to the grind. Maybe you're in a career, you're busy. Maybe you're looking for a new job, I don't know. Everything comes down to this connection between mind and body though. And so if we can master the body, it usually helps understand the body, or <laughs> the mind, sorry. Okay, so. I'm also gonna get into a little bit of music. I'll show you guys some of the pro progress I made on some of the music. Um, yesterday, I'm just, you know, and if you follow this channel, you know that for me, I wanna get to a level where I can perform and do my own music in front of family, friends. Right now, I have nerves to do that. And I'm just building stuff out. This is my first year really taking music seriously. So I'm gonna show you guys some of this stuff because uh, through this channel, I, I even shared that uh, for over a year now that I'm working on making an album. And I have some uh, other, uh, songs I showed a little bit earlier on this channel that I'm working on, but I'll show you guys some freestyles, okay? As well, it's from that I did yesterday. But first, first, let's look at all the training. Let's look at all the training because this is stuff that I actually understand. Music is secondary, okay? So, what I've been doing that was really interesting yesterday is I worked a lot on this uh, understanding of my ankle. Because I've been feeling um, a lot of like tension, a lot of stress in that right ankle, the side that I fell off of. So this is just showing my left. I mean, you can, it's more like you see my left. But I'm doing this. I got a bar on top. And what I'm trying to find is a place where I can feel my hips are like aligned. And that I can have my legs in this place dorsiflexion that's what my, my ankles are in dorsiflexion right now like this see how wobbly i am i'm very wobbly on both sides while i'm pressing and we want to be strong in that we want to be really strong in that and i'm not right now i'm building that up and so it feels like i don't really know how to explain what this feels like this calf contusion but it feels crazy guys like when i'm stretching right here and I don't know, I mean, it's not a calf contusion anymore, but I think that's what happened. Look at from this angle, it looks kind of funny with my <laughs> my pants or whatever, um, my shorts, but I need to get the right side of my glute, of my right glute, that glute medius, and to get it stronger. And inside of the foot, I need to feel like what we could do right now, honestly, um, I wanna pull up on here as well is uh, not that, uh, what's it called? Um, Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> Tom, Dick, and Harry tendons, check this out. So on the back of the foot, this is where I feel like in my ankle. In this area, it feels crazy. It feels very strange. So if you can relate with this like weird feeling in your ankle area, or you have a history of ankle injuries, I'm gonna help you guys get through that because this is killing me and I need to fix this as well. So basically to me, it just feels like, so there's just, it's just tight. It's just tight. So I do all this stuff yesterday. That helped out. Uh, what do we got going on here? Let's check. Okay, 
okay i gotta be careful else i'm gonna get a copyright thing so here we go look at that now look at my face notice how my face is all dude i'm telling you guys this is like this little moto crash i had it was like a lot more significant than i thought because look at like my facial alignment when i'm pressing in my shoulders like i'm really out of whack you can see it like how do i put like a Let's do a screenshot like this. Okay. Now on my screenshot, open it up, get a straight line. Give me a straight line. And let's use my nose. And, you know, it's like what's going on right there that's kind of where i'm supposed to be but see how i'm just i'm leaned i don't know it's just strange dude like this is a weird process so i really can resonate with people if you have any major injuries or significant um physical therapy processes because like i'm realizing like this is really challenging this is why people with like you know major surgeries when they're young major uh, injuries it's really hard to like work through it because it's very it's challenging you know so i don't know man this is just like obviously what this is telling me here it's like i need to and i i did this analysis when i was in the gym i need to with this foot i need to feel comfortable moving this out to here or like you know a little bit further out because you can tell that like i'm still like my center line's weird i need to have this foot out a little bit more and then I should be good, but the problem is that right hip, right here, it's having an issue support at all. You know what I'm saying? So we're figuring that out. So let me save that. And as I press in the shoulders, things feel a little crazy too. You know, like it's all right. We'll get there though. We'll get there because on my left shoulder, I smacked my hand and part of my forearm on the ground when I fell, and so. But see how my face, I'm wiggling it around. It's because like, I can't, it's weird. Like my face, since I've been doing this, when I'm exerting hard, it's hard to feel very symmetrical in it. And I think honestly, it's something that a lot of people don't really think about actually. You know, it's really easy to be super self-conscious right now on this journey um, because this is what I'm working through, right? But I think a lot of times when people don't have injuries, they're doing these same things, these weird kind of faces and stuff. Um, as well now what did i do here let's see here i was looking tired dude i was looking oh yeah i was just showing again this is me just showing that warm up again that felt good so see what i'm doing i'm like looking for a way to uh, stabilize evenly in the hips and by really stretching the back of the calves Dude, that, it feels good, honestly. If you've ever tried these slant boards, oh, it feels so nice. Now, let's, uh, basically, I just continued really practicing on this because I wanted to see what it would feel like to get a overhead squat in. And I talked about that on this channel. So see that right foot? Wait, so let's pause. Let's go right... Yeah, see, it's like the deepest I went was like right on this video. <laughs> Wait, look at this. Look at this. This is a great screenshot right here. Holy cow, dude. Actually, while we're doing this, um, man. So see, so capture that. Check this out. Now look at my right foot, pull up that center line one, put that right on my nose, bring it straight down basically. Look at that guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that is hilarious. It's sad. No, I'm just playing. But look, I could get into the math. I should get into the math. Like I should get a, uh... no, I'm just playing. But you know what I'm saying? If I had like, the math from like oh shit not like that not like that no just get that out of there it'd be cool to like just eventually get some like measurements on here but dude see that so obviously like this is something that it seems like i should be able to just 
correct this simply but the way everything's feeling that ankle and the way that how weak that glute let's check out the glute musculature glute musculature is that what you say okay now i feel my glute my right glute medius and maximus like is definitely weak right now and that's why i have to train a lot so up here and right there but even if you look a little bit deeper inside you got the piriformis you got what's this obtur obturnator internus okay i want to look at what those things do for a sec too inferior gramellus see like all these it feels like to me like need to get stronger like i need to really open it up what is the uh, obtur obturnator <laughs> obturnator internus helps rotate and stabilize stabilize the hip and thigh right but what you can do to train this and uh, you'll notice a lot of girls are doing this a lot of guys should be doing more of this um what's cool is i used to do a lot of hurdles when i was young and so i would train these muscles a lot more like in track and field but if you're just doing the good girl bad girl so this is what i ended up doing i ended up doing a bunch of you really want to train the outside of your glute this way and this is going to really help with a lot of knee pain ankle pain look at my jaw <laughs> my face this is hard dude i was like putting the, i was doing like really max effort here and it was extremely lightweight too i'll tell you that but that's how much i have to focus on training these muscles look at this grown man just being a weirdo like working hard <laughs> my face i'm like Ugh. dude i'm telling it's a, it's a challenge dude like i i be i look extra sometimes <laughs> times <laughs> hold on wait, wait wait hold on no 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 <laughs> let's get that let's get that on screen Bro, what a goof. All right, we just saved that. Okay, we saved that. Now, so that's what I ended up training was a bunch. So what if you're having a major alignment issue in that hip, and it's, you know, I think it's really key to focus on this right now. Focus on this. This is gonna be the takeaway for your day. But obviously, um, by doing those good girl, bad girl exercises, doing any sort of hip abduction, um, exercises, hip abduction, clamshells. So I definitely should be doing more clamshell. Um, but right here, see the classic. You know, these ones. The only thing with if I do this, I can't. I could do this, but then what happens is my left leg is stabilizing everything on the ground, and while I'm training the right hip, and it just is like, it just kind of doesn't really make any sense because it makes my sciatic still feel kind of weird. The reason why all this is significant for me and for most people when you have these injuries it's like this is what's eventually going to le learn learn eventually going to connect to the sciatic nerve because the more you get out of balance and out of equilibrium in that lower body this nerve is going to get pinched in some form or fashion it's just what happens this is what i can feel right now and it's really strange okay you got you we have to stay on top of the ball if you got an injury you got to really st stay on top of the ball all right, I'll get deeper into this Tom, Dick, and Harry type shit <laughs> later on in this uh, later on in this uh, channel. But right now, no. So the other thing I really focused on too is in the shoulders because I've I've definitely felt like I've had this. Uh, if you've had a sol shoulder issue, scapular winging, and um, serratus anterior weakness, it's usually connected to a serratus anterior innervation or a paralysis um but what's good is you can work through this you can train this a lot you just have to really you got to build a good connection if you squeeze stuff more with your left hand if you do boxing if you are just really conscious of when you're like using your hands like washing plates you got to be really in the moment you got to feel it that's what this does but look at that Ooh yeah so all right look at that guy oh damn shit so i strengthened this yesterday you can really get all this in control your entire rotator cuff by doing these upside down kettlebell 
And I think I actually, now that I'm thinking about it, somewhere on my YouTube channel, I definitely have a short where I did of that. Um, let's see if we can find the short I did on that quick. Ethan, HR, go to the shorts. Way back, way back, way back, way back, way back, way back. Way back, way back. Hey, actually, this one I want to take away. Actually, marijuana is great. I take this one away. <laughs> um, where's it at? It's uh, it's it's right in here. It's right in here. Bum 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 bum. Right here. This is probably it. Here's how I decreased my shoulder pain on the bench press. And I was actually able to increase my dumbbell bench by about 40 pounds. I started doing this single arm bench press with the kettlebell upside down. Right. That's a, that's a short I made on it. So it's like I, I've been doing this for a while. But when uh, this last year, it's gotten aggravated from that fall I had. And so we're working through that. Okay. So I did these. That feels good. I recommend anyone to do that if you got shoulder pain. You get light kettlebells upside down. Oh, dude, you feel good. And then after you do this before you do regular bench, and you're going to feel way better. Then I just did a bunch of push-ups. I can't remember how many push-ups I did. But let's see how my... Yeah, you can see, like, just look at how, like... I'm always looking for alignment. So I want to take some pictures of some of this stuff. Okay, so screenshot. I highly advise, like, once I started, uh, just in general, if you were watching this video and you, you know, if you like working out and stuff and you haven't really taken any photos of yourself doing movements before uh, or videos, I actually highly advise it, not even if you're trying to make content, but obviously if you are making content too. But for me, I noticed when I started making content that, uh, by watching my videos more of my movements i just like i recognized like i could i could be so much better with my form because i had to pay attention to what i was doing with my form so uh so see that see the uh, alignment so go elbow to elbow so elbow to elbow all right so see my head my spine looks that stuff looks a little strange but anyway the big warm-ups that I've been doing a lot before these uh, movements as well, too. I do a lot with the bands right here. So I'll have the band. I'll do that overhead press. This band right here. Oh, actually, wait, this, yeah. I want to show this one, too, for the shoulder. Just doing a row with the band and really focusing on just pumping everything back there in the rotator cuff and the lats. Dude, this is nice. I recommend this as well. If you have shoulder pain, do this before you bench. And dude, so what I do right here, the other ankle stuff I was doing, you you pull this. Ooh, see that? I pull my ankle into dorsiflexion, so I have no choice but to get into it. And then you can do some circles. Do some circles or do some hip flexor pulls. And that feels really good. And then right there, you strengthen the front of your calf, the anterior, this, uh, anterior tibialis, and this is nice. I everybody should be strengthening this exercise. If you know, if you guys know knees over toe guy on YouTube, this guy's always talking about it. Dude, this is important to get this uh, muscle strong because I actually have taken, I rested so much this year on training this muscle that I could feel like my ankle, it was getting so much weaker that like my calves were just getting tighter and tighter because we don't think about strengthening this. So boom. Really stay on top of that. Big takeaways for y'all in the fitness scene right now. Make sure you get a good warm up on your shoulders, your hips, your core, and uh, it's highly crucial. Which reminds me, if you're watching this channel, definitely go check me out on TikTok. I do the good morning six pack in the morning. So I take people through right now, some ab training. I'll show you guys what it looks like really quick on this link. Boom, boom, boom. Good morning six pack. I'll show you guys some plank stuff whatever it might be. Today I did a lot of push-ups with the folks and some like leg lifts. I think some of the two big things I just focus on now to make it feel so much smoother and easier is I'm focusing on my breath 
with a, with a good push through my elbows, my scapula, I'm getting a nice little push there. Boom. And I'm focusing on the breath. So in the upper body, I have the upper body locked down. My lungs, I'm... Right there. Okay. Training our abs. We're thinking everything's in the front, right? We think everything's in the front, but everything on the side is so key. And this is... Okay, so check that out. Um, and then on Instagram, I'll show you guys the other thing. I give a, Instagram, I'm basically just showing a lot of this journey already that I do as a fitness coach. And uh, so yesterday when I was warming up, I was talking about right here, everything I've been showing you guys here. And then uh, right here, I do this band workout too, or just I like to do a lot of agility training. So that way you feel a lot better, okay? So boom, there's that. Now I'm just gonna show you guys, if you're still watching, you guys, you probably fuck with me. If you wanna hear some of my music a little bit that I'm working on, I'll show you guys some of the stuff I did yesterday. <laughs> oh, uh, this one, Streets, this one was kinda funny. This is our freestyles, okay? First off, I gotta shout these guys out, the producers. Uh, it was Definition Production, Streets. So make sure to always give, I wanna give credit where credit's due. I didn't produce this beat. I also didn't ask for him either to even really do this this is just me playing around okay so so shout out you Def definitions productions you know this is not my beat i'm just playing around with it look it's tyler rolling J. that's all i'm saying man that mary jane i'm on the streets you know i got that good weed you know i say what i need to huh here we go let's got this down it's that definition production type shit bro uh, hey uh, i'm a dog I'm a dog, I came from the streets, and I can't find the food off the couch, and I will feed it, I will grab from the scraps and I'll feed it, whoa, whoa, and I'll be wolf, and wolf, 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 I'll be coming through the streets, yo, and I am unstoppable, here we go, I have a big mission, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. that's one I did what was the uh what was this one uh I did I just play around dude I'm, I'm telling you just I'm gonna do what I have to bro watch out I don't oh this one I was kind of I don't know this one that sound to me it sounds like a bass like a locker room <laughs> dude this is like I don't even know what you call, call this type of beat bro oh but this one was kind of fun I don't know 
I played around with the editing on it too, so that's why I like it sounds a little crazy. So this is a uh, big dog. Whose beat is this? Let's make sure we give big dog some respect too. Uh, I L I K. All right, let's check this guy out. Always give these guys some cred. Give them some love. I I didn't I didn't I didn't. I'm not collaborating straight up. Oh, this guy's from Peru, bro. No way. I lived in Peru. Little type. Oh, wait, little peep type beats. That's probably why I fucked with it, because it had, like, I love those little peeped type beats. So, where's his IG? I'm I-L-I-K. Right here. I don't know where it's at, but I'll just say, let me just comment on his last one. I see that one kind of sucked, but still, or that one I just I didn't do good. I didn't do that one justice at all. I didn't do that one any justice. All right, so but stay tuned. I gotta show you guys all these ones later. Uh, and it, It'll be it'll be some funny shit. What was going on in these ones? I can't. Live with the fuck up, and I'm staying busy. Young work. I put all my time in my blood, in my earth, cause I have to go find out and what I'm worth. I know I I have something deep. I oh, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. So anyway, yeah, I'm working through some of those freestyles right now that I'm just playing around with, and then uh, this was some. It's a new beat that I'm working on too. That's what we're doing. We're taking care of that. Uh, I'm ready to get back in the CrossFit gym now. We did a bunch of training at this other gym, and so I'm gonna get into that CrossFit gym. We're gonna get jacked. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna be on the sunset, you know, playing with the guitar, doing our thing. We're living that dream. We got the baby girl. We're hustling. We're doing. We're we're throwing everything in the kitchen sink at it right now. <laughs> but we're having fun, right? All right, y'all take care. Thanks for checking out this channel. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Share with your friends, especially if you guys are working through any major joint pains and you're looking to try out some like some deeper, um, some deeper interesting patterns that are pretty successful, honestly, and, and really kind of fringe but new and get to the deeper to the root. That's what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to get deep to the root on these issues, okay? So come check it out. Boom, boom, boom. Peace.